How's the, uh, how'd you enjoy the call? That was pretty good. You know, it was a pretty well-rounded description of what uh, was going to happen with currencies and maybe with us. Well, I don't know. It, it, you know, thinking logically, it makes sense. Well, a lot of things make sense, and then it's just about whatever they choose. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, why'd you have to say that? <laughs> yeah, it's way you above know. our pay grade, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's just so many options. So, um, yeah. yeah. But Jim Willie, who had. Uh, you know, kind of an inside track on where things are going three or four years ago, yeah. um, was basically being echoed by Bruce when he said that, uh, you know, well, some currency, well, this is not too early. Others said currencies will go down, some will go up, and, you know, a lot will stay about the same. But what Willie said was that, uh, the year, you know, like Europe will break up into its own, and the world may end up with about five to seven different currencies where they cluster together, like the dinar uh, in the Middle East and something in Africa, and so on. So that was uh, kind of a confirming kind of uh, sense that I got from him on that. Um, you know, he specified 90 days for the NDA. He didn't talk about anything longer or different for the Zim. That was different, I thought. Uh, different in that other people had said more time for the Zim. Um, what else? Uh, well, values are good, you know, not to worry about it. Uh, the Zen note, the first 100 trillion Zen, whether it's a note or an accumulation, gets a certain value and then you negotiate from there. That was different. Uh, what else? Um, well, he's talking about the process and who's getting processed and when it's going to go or could go. That seems to go along with what Fleming is saying in terms of timing and maybe the roll, you know, it's part of slow rollout. What else can I think of? Uh, well, I think that's about it, really, you know, without getting into his, yeah. You know, the different uh, uh, you know, running into uh, uh, duplication of your efforts with your humanitarian programs, things like that. Uh, what else? Was there anything else that stands out that was new or different? Well, uh, I was listening to with one ear while I was doing something else, so I'm I'm catching half of what you say I did hear, but uh, some of it I didn't hear or didn't understand. I just I did say that the uh, uh, British sterling pound and another the, will go down. Will go down in value. Like, yeah. yeah, or you know, and the euro maybe one to one with the dollar. Yeah, yeah. I did hear that. And that, and that uh, the Mexican peso uh, is not going to change, but uh, some of these currencies may take some months to change. Yeah. That, that was different. Yeah, yeah. And it could be because they're, you know, it's too shocking, the adjustments that they may yeah. have to make in their countries. Yeah. Can, yeah. You know, I understand that. That's and right. you don't want to create upheaval because everything has to happen mathematically and at this moment. Yeah, there's just so many concerns that, that you know all you know need to be addressed. And so I could understand that, you know, from my humble position or understanding of how things <laughs> work. Oh, That's how they could work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else? Um, you know, be 
quiet, be happy, <laughs> get off social media, get another phone or phone number, yeah. another email. You know, that was a couple of his uh, suggestions. Um, maybe another phone so that you won't, I don't know, I, why, I don't know why you have to change phones. Now what you have to do is change your mind and just say, I'm not going to talk about this. Uh, I guess it's maybe he's trying to err on the safe side for the people that will just can't help themselves. Um, Unless it's a phone that's going to be a, a more secure. I could see why. Right. That that, that's what I've been looking for in past months. And uh, for whatever it's worth, I can't even remember the model number. I just looked it up, tried to look it up again. Uh, the black very X something or other is supposed to be one of the most secure phones and you can find reviews on that and similar phones are considered secure too uh, you know and they get prices on places like Amazon of course is that why so many government officials use Blackberries you know we hear uh, uh, Hillary Clinton yeah. had a Blackberry oh uh, could be could be you know, and I think a lot of them started out with blackberries with the uh, keyboards on the, you know, on the phone. Maybe that was just natural carryover, but I think that uh, blackberry got deeper into, probably got deeper into uh, security because they had a lot of government people or corporations uh, using their phones. Uh, you know, and. I have a question for you uh, about phones. I, I look here and there. Uh, when it comes to international calling, uh, who has a good phone? I, I have to talk to a dealer, and I, I can't even remember what what network it was, but they covered all but about 50 countries. You know, they gave you a list, and you have to decide whether you want it or not. Uh, you know anything about... Uh, the international service. The, the, uh, no, I don't. I haven't been too concerned about that um, because, um, you know, I'm not just not there yet. But I know my wife would borrow when she was traveling internationally. Uh, one of the uh, vice presidents has a phone that he would loan her because it could be used all over Asia. Uh, it was just had to do with a ZIM card. And, uh, and, and, she, you know, it, it, it was hard, it hardly cost anything to call because it, and I forget what the carrier was, of uh, AT and T or a, a specific carrier. But you know it's changing all the time. For example, I'm on Verizon, and the call that I have, phone that I have, which they say they don't have anymore. So they told me it says you do not want to stop that service because you will not get another one like it because they discontinued it. But my service. Canada, Mexico, Puerto Rico to Guam, it's all a local call, and it doesn't matter where I am, whether I'm calling in or out of any of those countries, it's all the same, and I have no limit on on, um, on uh, what uh, the number of calls I make or the data. I mean, I can watch a, a movie in any one of those countries. It's not a problem. You know, um, I can talk as long as I want. Oh, that's interesting. Now I can uh, do it in Guam, but I can't do it on any of the islands in between. Of course, Hawaii, I can. That's no no problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm still kind of. Uh, it's not that I need to know now. I'm, I've been curious. I've asked different. I asked Verizon uh, dealer. Oh, I don't know. About three or four years ago, about it. Yeah. You know, they said something about SIM cards, and then, you know, and then some of them they split, or they use two cards, and, you know, and then it gets down to the program that they have. Yeah. <laughs> I doubt that you'll find the program that I have. I have, my phone bill runs 319 a month, and I have one, two, three, three cell phone numbers. Four, and then I have a two landlines, 
that are not land landlines. I, I replaced my landline with um, with a portable through Verizon. It's twenty bucks a month, plus I pay a, a flat one hundred dollars for all of my phones for this premium service where I I'm, it's unlimited data, unlimited everything, which is pretty it's good for in, 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 in all those countries. So yeah. they're not making much oh, money. Yeah. And yeah. my phones are all paid for. Uh, I usually go on the contract where it's zero interest and they amortize out the cost of the phone. I'll be upgrading to an Apple 12 Pro Max, probably. Well, well you've got a lot of experience with phones, obviously. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's very interesting. And before, when I had a landline, fax line, because I had extra lines as well, but I was paying almost, I was paying over 600 I think it was 620 So I've almost cut it in half by going oh. with everything on Verizon. So I don't have any landline. That's it. It's, it's, all, it's all wireless through Verizon. And no, I'm on Verizon. I'm talking to you on my, what, my home phone number. 5093 but it's not it's not a physical landline it's it's just like a cell phone is what it is and you have a wireless receiver that's picking up the signal and then then I have my portable phones like I had when I would plug into the wall kind of weird, kind of weird. Well, there are all kinds of things you can do <laughs> obviously as I'm listening to you and you know well, another thing, you know, when I built my place, guess what? I ran Cat5 everywhere. Man, I got Cat5. I, I bought a big, big spool of Cat5 wire, and man, I have wire running everywhere. I don't use it. I don't use it. I, I use Google Mesh wireless, and I'm, it's my, my wireless, my, my Cat5 is... Nicely wired in the wall. Got a nice plug there, but I don't use it. And I could not believe, in fact, when I was talking to a guy that was head of IT at the university here, he says, you know, I think there's, there's a time coming here where you won't be using that Cat5. Well, my goodness, it wasn't. But five years later, he was right. Uh, nope. Amazing. I got it. Technology is changing so quickly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Something else. Well, what do you think is going to happen? You think we're going to exchange before the election or after? Yeah, I think before. I think Thursday. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's my gut. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's all. I mean, what else do we have to go on? Because we're, we're never being told exactly what. It's always yeah. being strung out for one reason or another. So yeah, but, yeah. Uh, I think, uh, well, there's another thing I, I saw. Um, recaps, or I think it was from Tony saying uh, he didn't think it was going to happen until Thursday because uh, Amy wasn't going to be back in the country at least until Thursday, let's say first, first full yeah, day. That's right, that's right. He was very yeah, positive. I thought that's Thursday. a great indicator. Yeah, yeah. He's been in Europe uh, you yeah. know, trying to broker deals, I think. Yep, yep. Doing business. Yep, that's so, right.
uh, and that uh, he's probably uh, uh, turned himself in to uh, save his life. Oh. Not sure. So he's turning his dad in, huh? As here at NZ uh, this morning, and in our chronicles, it may show up on recaps. Don't know. Um, That's yeah. interesting. And and uh, I listened to Trump rally today in Erie, Pennsylvania, and he made uh, I think some allusions or remarks about Hunter. And, Joe and the, how corrupt he is. Pretty, pretty blunt and direct. I, yeah, I, I, I saw so that. I, I think they, they've got him, and, you know, and he's probably cooperating. Yeah, you know, and when you think about it, you know, this is, this is like almost a year old. I know. Some of the news that we have. I know. I know. Um, so, yeah. a lot of things happen in, in, in a time like that with everything else going on around you. And if you think that other people are talking that they might be doing the same thing, yeah, let's make a deal. Hmm. Yeah. Otherwise you become the poster boy. And <laughs> that humiliation is something most people don't want to go through. Oh boy. Much less, you know, being executed. Uh well, anyway, just a couple of rambling thoughts on that. Um, uh, another thing that Bruce mentioned, now that I think of it, was uh, when I talk about the Bahamas uh, and Cuba going one to one on the dollar. Yes, yes. He also said that Puerto Rico may be having their own currency, and it was, where was it being? Oh, uh, that they're printing currency in Gitmo for Cuba. <laughs> that was it. But Puerto Rico also may be doing their own currency. Yeah, and we're printing we're printing their money. Yeah. I, well, I he was talking about print, he thought, or he heard, I don't know which, uh, knows that uh, we were printing Cuba's money to get them ready. Right. Maybe that includes the Bahamas too. I I don't know. Could be. Could it's be. just a little something interesting. Uh, yeah. That that was kind of on a left field for me. Yeah. Uh, they need someone to print it. They are probably aren't ready to do it on a moment's notice. So, you know, in the interest of let's make friends and let's get on with the show, uh, maybe we offered. Uh, hmm. But right there on the island. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Trump spent a lot of time talking about what would what would it be like with Biden as your president. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that. Uh, you know, hmm. and uh, well. Anything more new uh, on that score, but uh, he had a lot to say. He was pretty clear, direct, and very blunt with about Biden again. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, um. What else? Yeah, I think that probably covers it. Um. Well, and the, well, he said that Denar and, and the Gong are, you know, he said better. You know, but he didn't bring any rates in. And that's that's all I can remember. I mean, how old is that information? Is that recent that it's better? Or what? You know, just can't get a handle on that. It is, it is fairly recent. You know, it's like within the last 30 days, the sh- the contract rates shot way up to twenty eight bucks for the dinar and the and the dong I forget where it was, eight dollars or nine, something like that. And then the regular rate was on the dinar was fifteen, between fifteen and sixteen. And uh, two fifty on the uh, 
Two fifty on dong? a dong, yeah, the regular rate. Two two twenty five to two fifty, yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. the first I've heard that. And, and, oh, and on the Zim, it was like point zero 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 zero. He was going so fast I couldn't count the zeros. So, um, wow. I really couldn't tell you what that's going to calculate out to. I'd have to. Well, you know, I don't know. With the first hundred trillion that he's talking about, if there were so many people with that, it could be that point zero, you know, maybe six places or whatever that they talked about. Yeah. Or it comes out to some millions. Yeah. And then if you really want to do something for the world, we're going to pay you more. Yeah. Well, my yeah. question is on, on that is. Uh, they give you that money. How do they account for whether you're using it for humanitarian things or not? You know, or how do they decide how much is yours and how much is for projects? We we heard the eighty twenty thing, then we heard that was a lie. What are your thoughts on that? Whew, I don't know. I really don't know. That's you no. Know, I mean. It, it would seem that they give you all that money for a contract, and uh, and they give you the money, and it's in one account. Then what? You know, how do they account for whether it's being spent well? Well versus well, yeah. If you do money laundering, like Bruce talk about that. If anything nefarious, you know, if you're sending money over to Antifa, they're going to take your money away. But if you're, you know. Spending money on yourself, you know, uh, how much? That's a question. So, it's another one of those wait and see things, I, I'm sure. Uh, but it, it, it kind of rolls around every now and then when they talk about rates on the Zim. Uh, Do you know what, uh, as it said, let's say at uh, six zeros? And a three three because three three was mentioned on a hundred trillion dollar note comes out to thirty three million dollars. Thirty three million probably. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've heard that thirty three before. Yeah, is a high number. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to know how. Uh, you I've know, on uh, one call, Bruce mentioned uh, Florida has more Zim holders than anywhere else in the country and the number that. was three thousand three hundred. Yeah. And that's yeah. the third least the third most populated state, I think nineteen million people. Yeah. I could be wrong. But I looked at it and I thought, all right, and then Texas and California could be, you know, right up there being, you know, so populated. And if you extrapolated numbers like that, uh, and, and gave a value of, let's say, half that on average to the other states, yeah. we're going to run up to 60,000, 70,000 people that they can account for. Um, and then you have to factor in all the notes that were given away or might have been given away yeah. uh, and add that. But I just thought that was interesting in America. Mm -hmm. you know? and, and then if you put that number up against uh, the 321 million people, it's like, you know, one one hundredth of a percent or something, or one thousandth of one percent, just to give a little perspective of, you know, where we stand in terms of numbers. Uh, yeah. Uh, just with that little bit, you know, just try and run with it and see where it takes you. I mean, maybe, maybe you, you give a you know, less than a thousand on average or more, you know, but uh, that's what I did. I came up with six or 70,000, you know, and, and maybe, uh, let's say, 3,000 or, or a little less than any other more populated states. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, just try looking for perspective. And, Well, uh, you know, we're going to be looking forward to maybe a blackout for a few days. Uh, oh, in the, the news, uh, the Department of Justice is looking into going after Google for censoring. 
now and talk about maybe breaking up their search engine or their advertising or part of the company and all that. So that looks like, you know, things are being teed up and not the right time to break this kind of stuff open. I've also heard that uh, under the new Jasara and the blackout, after it comes out, all these companies will no longer be in business. Like Google, Facebook, Twitter, mm -hmm. uh, just mm -hmm. plain and simply gone. They say back up your data because it's some more than likely is going to be gone. You'll never be able to retrieve it. Uh huh. So it's just wow, all kinds if, of stuff. If, if all that search information is gone, then we have to start over. <laughs> it sounds or... really like yeah, just social media, just the social media. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, not yeah. like my website well, and that sort of thing. You know, any legitimate business, but anything that has to do with social media, as if they've just gotten way too sorry. much. They've just been way too powerful, way too powerful. Yeah. That's why Doctor Ward has gone completely away from YouTube. Now you have to pay to belong to him, and I, I did. I, I subscribed for a year, ninety nine pounds. I don't know what that comes to, but uh, it's worth it to get the straight stuff. Yeah. But yet I can't I can't copy and send it. There's no way. So if anybody wants to see it, they just have to join. Ah, well, that's good. I mean, it's good for him, and, uh, and it's good that a lot of people are joining. Yeah, that's the other part, all that. But, uh, yeah, it's better if it, you know, let's see it get out to as many people as possible, of course. Uh, well... Um, yeah, so we might see Google broken up. It, it's yeah. just, it, it's kind of a monster, really, in yeah. terms of what they they yeah. have yeah, and they, they can sell that really oh, yes. is, should be private. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I agree. Yeah. I agree. You know, uh, censoring apart, you know, of course they have all kinds of information they can use to uh, process and, you know, make judgments that, you know, yeah. that they're on agenda. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, I thought that was pretty big news coming out today. Um, yeah. Uh, well, here in California, they're already talking about illegal voting going on through the mail. Nothing new, you know. Oh, yeah. Hearing it before the election instead of after the election, I guess. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Isn't that something? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. you know, every day is interesting. It'll be exceptionally interesting as this thing really, you know, picks up steam and after we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Imagine there be all kinds of things going on between now and the end of the year and even afterwards. And then the technologies and, and all that, that'll ruin a lot of people. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, about the, uh, the earthquake in Alaska. Yes. I noticed that they had a, a tsunami warning for Hawaii. They had people people to leave the beaches. Uh, but I've nothing. had one in Alaska for about maybe 500 miles along the coast in that area, but uh, I didn't see anything on the internet when I looked uh, for California. But that's when things like that happen, we, we are always told you know, that you should expect one. Yeah. Yeah. Whether you get one or not is different, but expect one. That's, yep, that's right. Of course, that would cover Washington and Oregon, too. Yeah. that stands out different from what he said before. It's just more direct and black. 
So we're ratcheting it up. Yeah, that's right. Well, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go for a walk, and then I am. I'm going to retire. Do what tomorrow brings. <laughs> I, I'm up early tomorrow. I got to meet somebody at six thirty in the morning. So. Oh wow! I'm up early. Oh my goodness. Okay, guy. Well, we'll see uh, what tomorrow gives, and yep. have a, a nice evening, nice right. walk. And Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Good night. Good night.